I am hey, Tragic Edge. Me. I'll be your DM for this evening. And uh, let's get in some uh, some lore here real quick before jumping right in. <clears throat> Welcome to the long forgotten realm of Castigar, where laws are for those who can afford or enforce them. And the people try to live out their lives at the mercy of monsters and the prison of local lords. Only two types of decent folk live here outside the walls of the townsfolk. Mercenaries who take what little towns have to guarantee their safety from random bands of monsters or unruly lordly servants. The other types are those with a passion for safeguarding the masses from the many vile and nightmarish things growing deep in the wildest of woods or the darkest parts of the hearts of men. This is a story of a group with these thoughts in mind. To some, this is just a job. To others, a calling. Our story begins in a late evening with our heroes on their job. So, uh, here we are. Hello, everyone's chat. Uh, this is, I guess, our first uh, D and D uh, Remora and Order Remora Crew stream. You all find yourselves in the middle of a town called Boldoff. You've heard of this place as being just some backwoods, backwater place, nothing special. You've seen a few patches of farmland, scattered housing. Everything looks like it's kind of shambled and falling apart. Uh, you all uh, gathered around a fountain that seems to have been dried out, and sitting on the edge of it is a hooded figure who you've all uh, recently met and accepted this job offer from. He pulls back his hood, and you see a uh, brown-haired, uh, rather young human uh, male. So I see you're all here. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, warn you all that you wouldn't be working alone. You see... We're gathered here because somebody of ours was working a case. There are some disappearing items and uh, kidnapping. And our contact has stopped checking in. So, we figured more people, better odds of success. You guys will be paid somewhat right now, and the rest on to completion of the job. Oh, and uh, one of the locals found this, you might need it. Uh, he throws a leather-bound book at the feet of Lord McClure. You notice the book is very dusty. Um, it's got a lot of scarring. Pages look weathered from the back. And is uh, bound by a single string. You might want to read that to see what's, uh, what he may have found out. Each, uh, each one of our own keeps a journal, so to speak. It may have some tips, some things you might find interesting, uh... So you don't get stabbed in the back or worse dead and uh i wish you all luck because i hope we're not paying you just to lose more money if you're looking for me i'll be over there and he points to a very shoddy two-story building with the name um the broke back in uh lord mcclure do you do anything with the book at your feet Actually, i have no <laughs> idea where it's been not um, can I pick up? <laughs> As you pick it up, you know it is very weathered. This thing has been used and abused. Like someone else, I know aphids. I mean, I'm. <laughs> oh my. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um, and as you all look about each other, uh. I need to change the characters here because I'm forgetting everyone's names again. Uh, Miss hmm. Delana, are you dressed conspicuously or not conspicuously? Are you asking? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> she lost sound. Her Discord. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm on a stream without the uh, technical Discord. <laughs> oh, no, no. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Well, somebody has. Oh. Can I just say, that guy's a dick. Could he not have handed it to me? <laughs> That's so rude. Just, it's it's or, a wet, it's, it's a weather like, like yeah, it's it's a really bad book and he just throws it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. I wanted to see a bend over. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear us? Yeah, can you hear us? <laughs> I'm just rubbing my beard and everything. Mm. It's stroking your beard. Reading. I'm I'm can reading you? a really old weathered book that someone doesn't care about. Yeah, Tragic. Know, these these two pages are stuck <laughs> together. <laughs> All right. So, so, as Lord McClure is uh, browsing through the book, uh, Miss Delana, are you um, 
are you dressed, you know, to conceal who you are, or are you like, you know, gotta, are you like, you know, no hood on, hair out? Yeah, no hood on, just my, and my hair out, yes. Alright, um, in that case, Mr. Flameheart, I actually need you to make a roll for me, actually. Make me either, whichever one's higher for you, a history check or a perception check. I don't even have my character sheet. I don't get back to my character sheet. That's what I need to know. <laughs> There's a, like a document uh, journal on the top uh, right of your screen. Looks like a paper yeah. document. Okay. You'll click that. There should be a folder that has your character's name. You'll okay. open that and just click on the character. Okay. I get it. I got it. Thank you. It also just be for um, everyone who's in stream. Many of us, this is our first time ever playing D and D. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I do have, I do have uh, perception. All right. Then go ahead and just roll history. There we go. Oh. Seven. So as you look about everyone, you stop and look at the woman on your left, fair hair, armored up. You want to say something sticking in the back of your mind, but you can't quite put your finger on why. Um, Miss Delano, can you actually make the same roll for me? In the meantime, Lord McClure, as you peruse through the book, you're seeing a lot of very... Entries that just seem rather odd or strange. There's uh, random doodles of strange beings. Mentions of monsters and creatures you've never even heard of and some you've passing stories. A uh, list of their histories, what to expect from them, uh, some tips on what to do about some of them. Uh, and oddly enough, when you get towards the most recent entry, uh, you find that the uh, person who was here before you all, he actually was investigating uh, that some of these houses had been ransacked in the middle of the evening. Uh, all occupants that were in the houses were knocked unconscious. And nothing of real value with jewelry stolen, no weapons, mostly just some odds and ends, um, potter pans, some uh, incense, uh, maybe some old animal bones, uh, some various powders. None of it really seems to add up. Um, but so when you do notice, he did not mention the kidnapping that was told to you guys. He did does mention that he did find um, some strange prints outside the village leading somewhere, but he lost it somewhere. Uh, Miss Delana, as you look around them, there is a, a young man sporting a shield and a sword. And you stare at him and realize he... You don't remember his name, but you know damn well you've seen him before. At your uh, at the lands meets for your from back home. Okay. Keep my eye on that one. Thank you. Here's <laughs> 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 man. Uh, Lord McClure, do you share any of this information with the others? Yeah, go for it. Oh. I will share with my new compadres what I have learned from this shiny right. book that is withered and old. Right. The book of shine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All dear. right, so um, so Moon, uh, Kimrin, uh, Mac, you all hear uh, the same story from Lord McClure that some things were stolen from these homes. People were knocked unconscious. Uh, there's a girl missing that is not mentioned in this journal. And there were some strange tracks that were just lost. Hmm. Uh, some of the, some names are listed here of people who were stolen from. Here we go. A uh, Reginald Lombowski Worthings Bottom the Third. He's the general store owner. Um, a uh, senior and junior home. They are uh, the blacksmithy. And a Jeremiah and. Tisha, they're just one of the local homes that got raided. Apparently, the person who was kidnapped is not mentioned. 
but there is someone mentioned of interest in the town noted um ignis he's the apothecary in the town hmm. okay uh one thing you can all notice despite there being a good number of homes around despite the tardis uh most people are actually avoiding contact with all of you like if you see anyone passing on the street the instant they see you they're rushing it to the next home that's shady how oh, rude they're avoiding us so they don't like strangers what do you think? Because we're clear. <laughs> i mean hey look i might be the weird one in this group but don't go blaming me why people are avoiding us i'm just saying maybe because that big pointy hat <laughs> i'm a what fucking hat do you see on a paladin <laughs> So the ones that got raided were the blacksmith. The blacksmith, the general store owner, and uh, just one of the local couples. I shared mm. just a random thought on the uh, the investigation predicted before us. Is anyone else getting a summoning feeling from this? Yeah, I I, uh, mm. I have been. Yeah. Old bones, pans, dies. Uh, that being the case, uh, everyone on your character sheets who have proficiency in either Arcana or Religion, uh, please roll that. Uh, one of them. Oh, I don't have either one. Yeah, just click the word itself in the character sheet. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I have no I idea what I'm doing. Well, one word that. Okay, so Moon... You're familiar with with rituals through your arcane practices, but you're not sure what it could be, given what's been uh, the what few items you've heard have been stolen. Uh, Lord McClure, the fact that it's mentioning bones and certain powders, you have a strong feeling this is not just some seance or some contacting the dead. Someone is trying to summon summon something to this place. Where it's is a Yuri. I know it's a Yuri. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is this place? So we're just still in the bar? No, we're in the street. Yeah, we're in the street, at a, at a, yeah, the street in front of a fountain that's dried up. Hmm. I think we need to talk to these people that got uh, the No, yeah, we shouldn't investigate the home. Well, should we not? Weird. Yeah. So we we plan to talk to the people that are uh, that have been robbed. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I if they've that's... seen I got... I got who investigation. robbed them or pull up gang and look for clues. Well. Uh, bam bam. Go. They go upstairs. Phoenix <laughs> and McClure go to the basement. <laughs> Alright, bye. I'm only doing it for Scooby Snacks. I'm talking to the party, never come oh. back. Scooby is good. Uh, okay, I would work her away from the, any information or any motivation. the first one. To... Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd start with the people that are robbed first and then move, make her way up to the basement. Yeah, so you guys are making your way to the home of Mr. and Mrs. Stone? Yes. Yep. So, as you all approach the home of Mr. and Mrs. Stone, uh, you do notice the, one of the windows the blinds are a little bit open and slowly closing. You're, you're noticing someone was there. They, they weren't trying to hide it. So I walk up there and knock on the door. As you knock, you hear from the other side uh, a woman's voice. Um, I I'm sorry, but who, who, who are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> Random dead body search. So let's go. Oh no. We this have, uh, me and my group have been hired to investigate the happenings that have been going on in this village. And we would like to ask you some questions. You, you see the door just open up just a peek. Um, are, are you all with that? Man was here the other day. Which man is this you speak so wisely of? He, he was wearing a 
a long, dirty coat, some uh, leather bracers, uh, messy brown hair, had a scar along his face, uh, very lightly armed. Uh, he was asking around uh, some strange things. Though, I haven't seen him in roughly two, three days now. Whispers to Lord McLure, Hey, is that... Is she talking about the same guy that we just ran into? That we just talked to? Like, here a little bit ago? Oh, I, I think she's on about the one that we're supposed to find. Yeah, as, as you guys reflect and converse about you re uh, remember the guy you just spoke to uh no scar uh his hair was actually pretty nicely kept he looked clean for someone just running around everywhere no we are not with that man we were hired by someone else to find whoever is robbing the citizens of this village oh, oh um, Jer jeremiah we uh we have some guests uh, you notice as she pulls open the door fully, uh, she's a half-elven woman, um, a little into her age, not really that much. Um, she looks a little, a little round for, you're not sure if she's expecting or if she's just been home a lot. I'm half-elf, or no, I'm wood elf. Uh, yep. okay. Yeah, I'm a high-elf. I should have been high uh, elf. That would have been much more appropriate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, black hair demon. Yeah, here, man. <laughs> the, uh, back room. But, the, but what uh, else? Know how to know well, how to grow. Anyone, uh, anyone here to set this town straight? And they're they're welcome here. Please, uh, come in. Have have some seats. Did you come in? Uh, there's a lot of scattered chairs. A table. A uh, fireplace that looks extremely used. A um, couple of broken shelves and uh, other random broken furniture that they haven't seemed to throw thrown out yet. Okay, so let's just let's just start from square one. Where were you um, when this robbery occurred? Well, it was late. I had just come back from a trip to another village. I was actually seated right there, and he points to a broken chair just beside the fireplace. You know, nice warm fire, something to drink. I uh, kind of nodded off, and the, the missus was in the bedroom. I heard some shuffling about, and as I get up and I see something run through the kitchen, I hear something break behind me, and next thing you know, it's the next morning. The missus chimes in. Uh, yes, he, uh, I heard similar things. I came out of the, the bedroom. Uh, there was something rather small, maybe about this high. And she, from her best estimate, she's showing about maybe between three and four feet tall. Um, <laughs> don't really go there. Wide head. It, um, it said something strange. I couldn't make out what it said, but I remember yellow eyes, and next thing I know, I'm unconscious. I look well, and not look around the house, but can I get, like, get a lay of the house? Uh, sure. Roll uh, perception or investigation. Uh, advantage, normal, and disadvantage. Put it to normal. Wait, hang. Where, do, where are you seeing that? Top of your On character the, sheet. Top of your character there's sheet. There's gonna be like three oh, different no. things in red. Just say there's like three little reds. All right, and then I what do I roll again? Uh, either investigation or perception. Oh god. As you walk around and try and get a lay of what happened here, you're not sure if it's the people who busted in or just the way they have this home. It's a goddamn mess. You can't make heads or tails of where something belonged or if that thing was broken in the first place. Oh. Oh. Yeah, people clean your fucking house! <laughs> could I let- Could I let- Like weeks ago! Could I look around if, see if I can find any clues or- 
Uh, roll the same. Phoenix Flameheart, as you look around, um, you notice one of the back windows is broken. And, uh, there is some traces of blood on the bottom. It seems someone or something had cut themselves here. <laughs> and just outside the window, there is a pair of footprints. Which are actually... Uh, you know. notice these seem to be going both ways. I'm just kidding. You some of them are smashing each other. They're about a... Not really big, either. A little wide, but not big. Your best guess, it wasn't a person that did this. I will, uh, continue my conversation with the couple. Okay. Has there been any, um, uh, anybody that, 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 um, may have heard that you you own something, you possess something, something, something in the you... house here that that you may have wanted. Or they may have wanted, may have, maybe a motivation behind this. What was taken? Yeah. You notice the the wife starts yeah. going through the kitchen, checking drawers and cupboards. The husband just seems to be kind of staring off into space and in thought. After a moment of searching. Uh, the wife does stop and seems to take a seat. Well, I know one thing they took. They took, um, they took the bowl. Jeremiah turns and looks at her. They took that bowl. Yes, the, uh, the nice silver one with the, the nice etchings that we got from your father some years ago. Oh, um, I don't know why anyone would want that. I thought it was just some piece of junk. Continues. Um, she tries her best to uh, grab a piece of paper and she starts scrawling the best she can remember it looked like. And she hands it uh, actually to, to you, uh, McCall. Hmm. I have never seen these etchings before. What's McClure's character's name? Lord McClure. <laughs> Lord McClure. Lord McClure. Yes. Are these these etchings possibly from your neck of the woods? Um, I'll say first and foremost, uh, both of you give me a history check, and then tell me what languages you know. I know whatever the dragonborns know and um, English. Oh. And Elvin, uh, Elvish, Palm a little and bit, I, a little Palm bit, and. just from my travel. <laughs> I just click on and history. Yeah. yeah, click on history. Um, and I know something stupid. <laughs> I'm common, uh, woven, and Elvish. All right, uh, McCall, you don't recall the artwork on the sides of it um but you could definitely read some of the uh, scribbles that are into it um this was written in the uh, language of dragons this is draconic. draconic it mentions something about this being a bowl that of uh, some you can't make out some of the words because you've never heard them used uh, amongst the tribe that raised you but this is something of some importance to somebody. It has some religious significance. So they wanted uh, that bowl for a, a, a probably some sort of ritual. Yes, I, I would have to agree with that assumption. Uh, and Lord McClure, from your history of studying uh, religious artifacts, these etchings do uh, match up with a lot of rituals involving blood. How's so somebody gonna die, people? Bowl. Yeah. So essentially, we're looking for someone who's approximately three foot tall, yellow eyes, must have a wound of some sort. Five feet. On their face? Well, we don't, we don't know if it was on their face, because it just says there was blood on the window. 
Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were talking about this other guy that... No, I'm on about the assailant. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. So it's what? They, they were small, about... Could, the, uh... <laughs> Did anybody ever think the guy with the scar? Maybe got the scar in his face and shot whatever's on the window? No, because he was, an, he was a human. So his yeah. average, oh, even if he was small, he'd crazy. be about five feet. But the woman, because right, I'm, I'm sure Tragic right. said the yeah. the oh. woman approximately gestured at right, three right. feet tall, wide head, no, yellow no, no, eyes. Five feet. Did you say five? I can't remember. Just now. From four I feet. But... Can I just quickly ask the woman again? How tall was the assailant? If she I had to guess, clan, up between like three and four feet. Yeah, if I had to guess, Clan, I'd, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might be dealing with a dwarf here. A dwarf, or dare I say, a goblin? A dwarf person, that's what they like to be called. But it, a goblin would make <laughs> more sense. More... Blood ritual. A creature, yeah. Goblin. Yeah. Goblin would, be a dwarf. goblin would be quite, because yeah, but dwarves don't really have bright yellow eyes, do they? No. And goblins um, have been depicted no. to have yellow eyes. Yes. Yep. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, I would kind of goblins, but not dwarves. Yep. I would have to agree. I'm I'm gonna write in my notes suspect goblin. Yep. Mm -hmm. I suspect goblin right now. Yes. Goblin summoning stuff to the only kill thing someone. That throws me off would be what what would a goblin want to do with something written by dragons or by dragonborn? Maybe he's. I I will mention this. Uh, most of you at this point is common knowledge of the land that the language of dragons is one of the core languages related to magic. Uh, right. So essentially, just if we are right now suspecting a goblin, the goblin is trying to summon something or someone using blood magic of some sort. I just put blood magic in there for my notes as well. Has anyone else got anything they want to ask Mr. and Mrs. Stone? Mm. So did they just now they notice the ball was missing? Notes. They didn't or anything else before we got there to see what was missing? I mean, the how... just went and searched the kitchen, I think. How long ago was the robbery? Oh, yeah. At this house? Um, oh, they hit us about who... Nay, seven, eight nights ago. Nights ago, and you just now discovered the bull missing, and the house it, it, it still, still looks like, like it's been robbed. Wait, like I said, uh, I thought it was a piece of junk. It's just been sitting there looking pretty for some time. They didn't look to see what else was missing. I mean, what else was missing? Nothing. They had. They thought they were robbed before. What was missing that they called about? Just their house had been broken into. They were. Actually, I'm just wondering if they were robbed. Then what was missing? If they were just broken into, this uh, bowl is missing. But the yeah. bowl was missing. But she didn't know the bowl was missing at first. So I'm just wondering why it was reported they to Robin. Good they point. Gone. Was there anything that's else missing? Like that's, that's like a home invasion type thing, though. One of those different yeah. laws, no, whatever. But I'm just, I'm just wondering. Minute, but... Who else knew that you guys got this bowl? Um, the only one who knew about that was a uh, young uh, Barty and his old man. We brought it to them but, thinking uh, maybe we'd want to smelt it down, but they thought it looked a little too uh, ornamental to be smelted. They're the blacksmith, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And they're also been robbed? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Incidental, I doubt. No. I'm Can, thinking, you guys, uh, I'm thinking. But, I think wait, was there anything like, do these people feel weird or did like, anything happen to them? They don't have any like, other symptoms or signs of a struggle between them when they just don't remember? So head. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't on like the head, any uh, probes when they were out is what I'm getting at, basically. <laughs> Something right. weird happened to them. Was like they was it actually maybe not even a robbery? It was just like something was taken to make it look like a robbery. Where they maybe after like some they they ain't gonna, gonna tell us if they put up. Well, I know they're not gonna they tell us. So I'm just throwing that out there for you guys to understand that my thought. <laughs> well, I'll ask this: Are you bringing that idea up aloud? Sure. In front of I don't me. know. Well I, well, I don't know. I don't know. Are you just, just talking to us, or are you talking to the... <laughs> I'm just talking to people I'm working with, probably, yeah. Because I wouldn't say that out loud, because I don't know. Oh. Okay. Okay. So as you see that, they, they look at each other wide-eyed. The man gets up and says, Excuse us for just a moment. They go into the other room. Uh, 
Got it. And after a moment, they come back. Jeremiah apparently seems fine. Uh, his wife, however, there is a uh, some small incisions on her back. Incisions? Mm, okay. Just small okay. cuts here and there. Mm -hmm. hmm. And um, oddly enough, they seem to almost kind of line up in a strange way. But I can't really make out what it looks like. And that happened at the same night? I'm assuming that was the robbery. Or she came uh, when she woke up. That's she, were there when she woke she up. They weren't there before. She barely remembers much of it. She did. They weren't there when she remembers before she woke up. So and she noticed them when she. Came, I mean, yeah, okay, then that's yeah. Can I, can I ask um, Mr. Stone what his occupancy is, or what's his job? <laughs> why Why was he in the other town? Uh, he does delivery runs for this town. Whatever okay. supplies they cultivate that they're willing to trade, he brings them to other okay. towns and sees what he can get from them and bring back. Okay. Can I ask him if they're they hiding? They're not giving us all the information? Uh, Phoenix, I would don't ask. go there yet. Don't go there. What are you hiding do from us? Do they have any connection to the other people who were robbed? I mean, do they know them? Do they, how, do they have friends? Do they hang out? Are they relatives? I mean, Perception, that means like I'm kind of like, uh, I'm kind of putting pieces together a little bit, right? That's well, that means. no, no, that's it more, just... that's more. perception is uh, how you look at things and your understanding, like, uh, okay. this like this? should this be like this? Yeah, okay, okay. It's, it's how that's you perceive, sure. like, smell, taste, yeah, your senses. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're trying to, what, what are you trying to put together, really? Well, I'm not really trying to put it together, but like, um, <clears throat> I feel that these little incisions, these cuts, have something to do with what's written on that bowl. Okay, so okay. they walked out of the room Maybe. to see, right? Okay. Why, why before they come back in to talk to us about that? If you well, wanna, I, I, I get why. Scratches, well, why would they not report that from the get-go? I don't understand. Because they obviously didn't. If they wouldn't have to go discuss it, they were going to tell us that, right? Like, I'm going to walk it up. Be a, a family thing? It might be a family thing because she got it from her father, correct? No, so his father. His, fa his father. Oh, it was his father. Hmm. Hey, I'm going to walk up to the and lady said of the she house. Might be expecting. She, you said that she yeah. might be expecting. Or she could just be fat. Yeah, I'm going to. Possibly uh, some kind of curse on her her unborn child. Probably want to jump in from the unborn child. Who really? Does that make sense, Kenna? Yeah, I'm gonna actually walk pregnant. up to her and see if, like, I know you don't want to show, you know, the whole room your back or anything, but would you mind if we, the two of us, go into the back and I take a look at these marks on your back to maybe see what they are? Right. Yeah. She, another really woman much. looking. Another a woman. To another woman because <laughs> i'm sure that's why her husband took her into the other room to look <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah sense, actually. she is a polite nod and walks into the okay. other okay and i'll take a look at these marks on her back all right um in that case i want you to make an investigation check investigation or medicine uh medicine will be more related to her health this is okay. something else entirely Just the okay, way they're no marked, this isn't going to be a danger to you. Alright. So, the more you look at them, the way they're cut, it looks to you more like someone was trying to etch this into her skin, not so much trying to, like, dig in and harm her. You wanted to leave a mark, not and take something? You could, you could kind of make out a shape. Um, you, you got a vague idea of what it looks like. Okay. Uh... Do you do anything else with that knowledge? No. Um, I, just, I just look at it and just... Um, kind of just put the memory of that in my head so I know what it looks like. Okay. And I'll let everyone else know when we're done. 
Right, it like takes a moment. Have I seen that symbol before, perhaps? That looks like it, uh, that looks like chicken scratch to you. I kind of pull out a little notebook and kind of draw it as best I can, so I can show everyone else. All right, you show the others. Yes. All right, so this is what I thought maybe it might have been like someone clawed at her, or scratched her, or was cutting into her, but it looks like they were trying to mark a symbol in her back. Um, McCall, are you the only one that speaks Draconic in the group? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so you recognize this? I was symbol. raised by Dragonborn. It, uh, it is actually a, a symbol. A symbol, um, in the Dragonborn language, symbolizing rebirth. So now we kind of got to ask her if she's pregnant. So you. Yes, um, <laughs> I would. I, uh, you guys, this symbol <laughs> looks a lot like a rebirth symbol from the people who raised me. Um, I think this woman holds a child. Uh, as you say that, you know, she <laughs> kind of looks away, and the husband's just looking at her like a little confused. She doesn't want her husband to know she's pregnant, I bet. Are she's you? pregnant with somebody else. With yeah. Could be a Jesus a, nods. <laughs> and how long? Uh, best guess when you're looking at her. Five to six. You guess she's probably still <laughs> in like the second month, maybe going on the third month. Well, she would so have to show us this a, a a <laughs> thing that you just to her. She's very, she's a very slender person. I don't care. Without she's got to be small. Yeah, very small. <laughs> but why? So you, you mean? Okay. <coughs> Did you just discover it recently, or is it something that just happened? It's like, Does no. It's been a thing. Okay. Assume it's Mr. Well, Stones' yeah. child. So I'm just gonna throw this one out here. <laughs> I think it's John Rathborn's kid. Uh, can I ask I'm why? Sorry, she's the question. My question is, how did the how how did the perp? No. Yeah, who else knows that she's pregnant? That she's pregnant. They must have told somebody. <gasps> that sounds like magic. There's some magic going on here, and that's mm -hmm. out of my realm. Somebody with some inside information. Yeah, somebody who's got uh, arcana. Uh, arcana. You, I don't have arcana. As you guys mentioned that, uh, my magic is Jeremiah different. does uh, step beside her. Now that you mention it, uh, I did have a good few drinks at the inn before I came home. Uh, there was a few visitors in town, which we don't really get. Uh, two rather strange fellows. One was hooded, didn't really seem to be care for drinking. The other one was a very large, very rich man, fine clothes, um, very curly mustache, a little bit of balding. Uh, they were inquiring about the town and its uh, livelihood. And, well, I a few drinks in, I started boasting about what I loved about this town. You know, I brought up my wife. I brought up the the kindness of the blacksmith and his son. And well, the rest of it's a blur past that point. Are you sure yeah. it was from the alcohol, not anything else? Made him just so out of it. You think we're drunk? <laughs> yes, I'm like, I think you may it. have been drugged. Could you have been, maybe? Mm. But at the same time, I I'm no medicine man. Do you feel the same way when you got when you woke up the next day after that whole incident? I mean, was it the same type of this thing? No hangover like feeling or anything like that? Like different well, than an alcohol the, hangover? The from the bump on my head, I would have felt fine. Okay, so a tiger in the was hit on the head. Okay. Can I ask? Do they know about the kidnapping? Oh, you're inquiring about the kidnapping? Yeah. Oh, right. Poor Ignis. Um, he was telling us about that earlier today. His, uh, his daughter never came home last night. 
where was she <clears> last <throat> um, seen? Uh, as far as we know, the last time we saw, she was uh, working in the field earlier that day, and she seemed like she should have been done before the night, but... Playing D&D. As far oh. as we know, that's the last I remember seeing her. The council's small, everyone knows each other. I don't recall it. So Thanks. you were told that she just didn't come home, or was she kidnapped? I mean, what was she told? What were they told? They, were, they just said that um, you got told that Clean. she never came home. Well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. but, but didn't we... Okay, that's what I'm just... Yeah, okay. This yeah, is yeah, what I was about kidnapping. Ignis claims she's kidnapped. We, we want to give him the benefit of the doubt because we've never... There's never enough people around her age around here. It's mostly a lot of uh, couples and older folk. How old is she? Oh, I think come this summer she'd be roughly about 17. So has anybody uh, sent out a search party? Has she been looked for? Uh, as far as I know, the only one searching is it. None of the other towns people are willing to help. That's rude. Between the between the break-ins and the now someone missing, a lot of us are scared. Indeed. Understandable. Most people here don't have uh, any combat prowess aside from uh, Barty's father, but he gave up that life ages ago. You guys, All right. being that being this this is Dracone stuff, and <laughs> there there there's a lot of. Uh, Really, really dark magic going on here. I, so, something's really bad. Something's really bad. All right, so we got and what? Precinct tents? <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Probably eventually. <laughs> um. I think. Wait. I think we. I think we need to ask this couple if it's okay if we come back, and ask further questions. But I think we need to talk to the blacksmith. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yes. I can All right, see. gang, let's split up and look for clues. See just, see, just before we leave the house, can I quickly look at the book to see the order and who was robbed? Well, the general store uh, would be robbed next. Uh, Wait, so are we, are we heading to the blacksmith next? I'm good with that. <coughs> yeah. I mean, we can. It makes sense in a way. Right. There, was, there, was, there was only three robberies, weren't there? As I flicked through my weathered books. He's one of the few that knew robberies. about the bowl and he was robbed himself. So, it's likely... I, so wait, it was it who who's the daughter that got kidnapped? Uh, I guess to backtrack there, uh, her name was Catherine. Oh, but she was that one guy. What was the guy? What's the guy's name? His daughter who's, was it? Who's, who's uh, her family? As far as they know, the only family she has is Ignis, the apothecary. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'm I'm down to visit the blacksmith now. Yeah, Sorry, I was, just, I was double checking my notes and making sure I have everything. Yeah. As you leave the home, uh, <laughs> Jeremiah, farewell. His wife you know, says she'll pray for your safety. Upon well, reaching the uh, smithy, uh, you do hear inside um, the sound of uh, going uh, stone on metal era. Damn it, boy! Are you trying to craft that, or are you trying to break it? Sounds like they're having fun. Shall we intervene? <laughs> Not party time. Don't yell at. I, I, I will. I will. Don't <laughs> yell at the boy. He's just learning. Teach the boy. <laughs> Teach the boy. Yeah, Thor and I got to want to do that, boy. <laughs> boy. Hey. Oh wait, they're inside. I thought blacksmiths always outside. My bad. Yeah, so did I. It probably should be, shouldn't they? Um, it's, it varies based on the setup. That stuff. That might be okay. the best thing on that um, um, Okay. Okay, so I guess that didn't work. So, <laughs> yeah, you're I kind of yelling into the gonna, door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I assume yeah. we shall knock on the door. Yeah, let's try that one. As you knock, and you um, hear everything come to a stop. Hey, get the door. You see, um... As the door opens, a rather uh, small figure in the doorway just kind of has a hand up. Um, uh, hello? Uh, can we 
can we help you? Um, you look like you're all pretty nicely outfitted. Oh, why, thank you, yeah. child. Yeah. I do make myself look fabulous. Of course fabulous. we are. Uh, yeah, uh, stature and his height, and uh, you get, uh, as you look at it, you realize he's a dwarf. Ah, uh, so you must be the blacksmith's uh, apprentice. Bar. Uh, son. Oh, son. No, no. Oh, alrighty. No, no. Um, is your father home? Uh, yeah. Ah, the people are here to see you. He's it's very old. Uh, uh, he's got a a sword. He's working on the side. He's pulling it back out and hammering away. You see, uh, old dwarf just kind of sitting on the side, one leg up, and his other leg it seems to be a stump. Well, what can I do for you? I just uh, have a question about a bowl that belonged to the stones that you possibly may have seen. Ah, uh, that rather nice silver one. Yeah. Yes. I haven't seen something like that in these parts in, oh, since sometime after the war when people were raiding that old city. Oh, speak of war. Do you recall the name of this war? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you want to go down this path? <laughs> I called it the uh, Yggdral War. Ah. Pretty much uh, it was a land dispute, really, over resources. I, my parents were killed in that war, and I am looking to find them. But that's not what we're here for. We're, we're here if they were killed. Yeah. yeah, I thought I was the only one wondering that question. <laughs> 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 I'll get to that later. Right now, it's, it's what's going on. I mean, he wants to find, Got it. Wants to find the remains. I would like to have another conversation with you at another time, but right now, I want to know about a little bit more about this bowl. Did you recognize any of the symbols or any of the etchings, writings, anything on that bowl? Uh, not in particular, no. It was definitely fine make, though, the they wanted me to smelt it down, but the craftsmanship, mm, be a waste. Do you have any clue to maybe the person that could have etched this? I mean, you being a you know, blacksmith yourself must use an etcher of some kind, yeah? My etchings, like most other my trade, are more heavy-handed and often a little more edged. These were smooth. This was no, no work of some craftsman of the blacksmith. This is something. That was something more. You guys. Yes. As smooth as the etchings are, do you know any etchers in this realm that can etch like that? It sounds like magic to me. To be fair, though, considering that it's a uh, draconic origin, it could have been someone far away. Because it was given to them as a gift. It is, that so is, it, could, it, it, could, it could essentially be old and it could have been plundered from a certain type of war or robbery. But with yeah. such fine etching? If you uh, get farther back, it, the etching is going to get worse. Lord uh, true, true, it would have to be quite recent, wouldn't it? Yes. But I don't know anybody in this realm that can etch me as that. From what I'm hearing, who in the party is proficient in Arcana? Me. Just Moon. Moon. Moon Man. I'm proficient. Yep. Yeah, my, my, yeah, my, my persuasion is uh, religion. Okay. Okay, so Moon. Uh, you would know from your studies and your own research that a lot of items commonly used in rituals sometimes can be magical. And a lot of magical items don't exactly wear down or break as easy as common items. All right. Uh, I would like to ask the blacksmith. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. Take it from me. Well, first off, my missing leg. I don't know what they'd want with that. They <laughs> stole your leg? leg? What? No, no, they stole his missing leg. At least you could leg. chase after them. Maybe so they, they could chase after them. Uh, yeah. like, hey, hang on, hang on. Before we go further, can can I confirm? Can I confirm? Did the dwarf physically 
physically lose his <laughs> leg, or did he lose the leg that like replaced his, his leg. old leg? Yeah. yeah. As, as you see the stump, it has been healed over. Leg, that's an old, that's a very old wound. He had made something up. Yeah. From, 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 from he has a okay. some uh, leather around it. There's obviously some kind of device he had fashioned to his leg to act as something to stand on. What was it made out of? Gold? Diamond? <laughs> Metal. Uh, uh, Human skin? <laughs> Metal. Iron. 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 It was heavy, but it got me around. Iron. Iron. Dude, your so, thigh uh, muscles must be huge! Marathons, that's for damn <laughs> yeah, what else was stolen? Other than me leg, they took uh, a couple of my smithing tools. Hammer, a chisel. Uh, they actually took this rather nice silver dagger I got in a trade once. Hmm. Silver dagger. Was it pierced silver? Where'd you get it from the trade for? Where'd you get it in the trade too? From who? Uh, you described the scanner. Silver uh, dagger. Like, on one of his runs, he had traded a, a, a nice sack of uh, vegetables for a nice silver dagger. He thought someone might... Uh, Need that for protection or some ornamentals. Can I ask if the dagger had etchings similar to the bowl? To the bowl, no. It, it mostly had those uh, ornate designs they do on some of the sides of their blades or the guards. Were any of them yeah. any of them gems? Now that you mention it, in the bottom of the pommel was a nice. The yay size ruby. He gestures like made about a silver dollar coin. That's a pretty big ruby. That's a big yeah. ruby. And be rich yeah. once we're done. <laughs> Can I just ask him? I know this is slightly off topic. When he uh, he obviously lost his, you obviously lost your leg in a fight. Were you a soldier or a mercenary? I was never cut out for the uh, rabble of soldiers and. Being thrown a, a whip too for not staying in line. I tried so to make myself a hero. Sell sword. Sell sword. Thank you. You wouldn't have seen uh, someone between the height of three to four feet with bright yellow eyes running about the place at all. Now you mention it. When my son yeah. was out, I was just minding the shop, taking a wee nap. I get up because I hear something. Trot over to the forge, made sure it was not uh, piping hot, but apparently someone had uh, made use of it in my sleep. Wait, and, you uh, didn't hear anything? Nah, I sleep harder than any rock you'll ever see. Touche, good stuff, touche. <laughs> but aside from that, I did see something out the door about three. Three small fellows. The uh, cabinet over there. The uh, apparently Jimmy the hinges, and uh, there's a nice bit of blood on the glass there. Can I investigate to see if there would be any clues? Want to inspect the the case? Go ahead and roll investigation. Who's who's inspecting the case? Um. Oh, okay. As you inspect the case, um, you notice whoever was in here, their hands were, were definitely dirty because they they left uh, prints all over the glass in this case. Uh, the hands were kind of small. Could I ask the son if he saw anything? The only thing that struck me as odd, uh, it actually yeah. makes sense to what Ignis was saying this morning. Uh, I remember seeing Catherine in the fields but when I passed by again just before the sundown, um, I noticed the, the wheelbarrow was still out there with all the goods in. But I didn't see her anywhere. Figured maybe she took a break or stopped uh, home real quick or... Were you guys here when the... <laughs> took place? The sun was out, the father was in, and okay. something happened while he was sleeping like a rock. Oh. So you heard nothing. He just know the only thing he mentioned was uh, oh. the front door was open, and he saw what looked like three figures running. 
Small figures. So three figures? Oh, three small three. figures. Okay. It's got to be goblins. It's Is a there goblin. like a... They're working for somebody. They're working Is there like somebody. a cave nearby this location? Oh, goblins, there ain't no. been goblins here in you know, around the time of the war, <laughs> but uh, uh, there was is. The war? Ooh, some 60 years ago. Oh, before I was born. Okay. Can, can I interject and ask, ask, have halflings been spotted in the area recently? Not too many of them venture out of the city far south near the desert. Okay. But would they sneak into town? I don't think halflings would do it. Goblins. I mean, yeah, halflings generally keep halflings. Goblins would. Goblins would, no definitely. Good. Nice best cover. You're damn blind unless you can see in the dark. Yeah. Goblin goblins do have really good night vision. That's why they live in caves. Could be goblins that have returned. They have a cave skull. Okay, well, do you know of any caves near here? Tend to like dark places. Mm, it's a good walk from here, but uh, further north, about north of here. Half, half day's travel, there is a uh, the beginning of the mountain range. There used to be a mining operation there going more towards the east. Uh, lots of coal and other materials, but that shut down shortly after the war. Okay. Well, ones could still find their way in there, or other beasts of that shorter stature. Mr. Stone told us about some kind of different characters that were in town he was with at the tavern. What do you say they looked like? Um, well, one of them was a um a bigger man wearing fine clothes with Bolden and had a beard. The other one, not ah, so much fine clothes. Oh, that one. So yes. you don't know. You do know who we're talking about. Fat nobleman. Well, oh, I the fat nobleman. Me late, it's that I couldn't work. So you have issues with this person. I. How long have you had issues with this person? Since he walked into me shop, insulted me son, and me work. What's the first time he was here? Oh, he arrived maybe a night of four before the Stone's house was hit. About eight or nine nights, nights ago. Eight or nine nights ago. This is the noble that oversees this land? Ha! This land's my ass. Any man fool enough to take claim here gets run out of town. Do you don't have a lord, lady, ruling this area? Nope. This Do you have any kind of ruling own. system? There's always someone in town that someone respects. Mostly. The mayor or... Do you have no sure. law? Just the There's... common laws unspoken by any man and beast that's got any common decency. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, mm. I can see why you were wrong Is... then. Not that I'm condoning the actions of this fat noble, but... Is the nobleman still in town? Or has he vermoosed? Two nights. He's gone two nights. Okay. I might want to set up some kind of authority figure. Well, normally the innkeeper takes care of things like that when you can find people willing to stick around and stand guard. He pays them, but not a lot, a lot of them want to stick around long term. Nothing here to for them to put their feet up or put roots down. More just sell sorts. Exactly. That sometimes you can't always trust. Wait, were we hired by a fucking innkeeper? The, the guy <laughs> that hired, uh, hired you, you notice he said he'll, if you need him, he'll be over there. So oh, yeah, no, I'm just saying that was just my exasperation out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, although we know who Vizzy works for. No, we don't work uh, for the innkeeper. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Unless assuming the one who hired you is an older man, graying hair. No. No. With a fake left eye? No. A fake left eye. Now, the guy that hired us was rather handsome. They have I mean, manly figure. A younger guy, brown hair, mm. has a hood. Scar on his face. Yep. Very... No, he never had it. No, the guy who hired us never had a. Oh, oh wait, we're wait. asking uh, about the other guy. No, Scarface. All oh, right, okay, yeah. no, sorry. We got hired by Scarface. The Stone Song. Yeah, no we, didn't get... no, we never got hired by Scarface. Scarface no, was the one that went missing. Yeah, he showed up asking about the robbery. Just a quick question. Name was that whole conversation about the guy with the scar, was that said out loud amongst y'all? Yeah, I was asking the, the blacksmith. 
Then we start interjecting ah, to each other. Do you, you know that man? No, Heard about him? Know we him. know of him, yes. Yeah, he was here asking some questions as well. Uh, he was uh, apparently looking for something or someone. He never spoke much of what. I just know he always opened up a book and started writing something in it now and then. Can I show the blacks with the book, my the book that I was given? As you show him that, he's like, uh, that'd be the book. Was so there anything that natural. you could make out from this book? Did you read the book or did you just see the book? I would touch the book. He you get wouldn't... that book so close to him, you'd swear it was his child. Yeah. Yeah. So how did we get the book? Oh shit, why didn't we ask that? Another introduction <laughs> to the rest of the group. Why didn't we ask the guy who hired us how he got the feckin' book? <laughs> I don't know. Question. How did we get the book? Uh, how shit are we a detective? <laughs> um, uh, uh, I'll, I'll mention this. Uh, I guess you might have mentioned it. He did mention when he was talking to you guys when you first got here that one of the locals found that book and he thought you might find it useful. Uh, yeah, I mean, where? Not none of us that none of us asked about the local he either. Stated, he huh? never stated where you found it. Uh, we need to go to the inn and ask him about this later, guys. Yeah. We also need yeah. to go to the field where the girl was. Busting. I think we also need to head to the uh, general store. mountains. So far, we're suspecting blood summon, goblin, and we all want to hit a pompous noble in the ass. Okay, well, let's go talk to the general store. Yeah, let's let's check out the general store because then we can kind of figure out. We'll have a little bit more info and kind of know where to go from there. I think, yeah. And then the apothecary whose daughter was disappeared. We need to keep in mind the footprints at the back of the stone house. Yeah, that's right. And they're small. They were small. Wide. Small, they small but wide. wide. That's so the there was possibly more than one. <laughs> yeah, because the blacksmith also says that he saw three of them running away. And don't goblins <laughs> normally run in groups of three or more? Run in packs of like. 10 to 15, so it's kind of strange to see yeah. one by himself, and then three. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the other ones could be surrounding that place. Can I ask the blacksmith, though, has there been any, is there any legends or myths? The only legends around these parts is a story of a just an old woman in the bog to the east that uh, you go there in the middle of the night and you see her, you're going nowhere. But if you see a uh, large wolf you'll be fine is yeah. that a, uh, are we confirming that we're not done at the blacksmith i yeah. think so i think we gathered all information we can really get here yeah. i, ju I just want to see because uh most most people tend to do if especially if it's like something to do with rebirth um you know random stuff was stolen iron leg pans the Draconi bowl an elven dagger, my thought might have been that maybe there was a myth or a legend of summoning powerful demons by bringing certain specific items, because ironically enough, why is it from three different races? <coughs> Wolves, elves, and dragons. Before we leave, can I ask the blacksmith, have any mysterious creatures been seen in the area? Oh, mysterious such as... Trolls, ogres, orcs, or dragons. Not. Dragons, anything, yes. Anything that shouldn't be within these areas. There was one, one random party going through from the north. They did say. They did see some large beast at the edge of the bog nearby the mines, but there hasn't been too many large predators in these parts for some time, unless something moved in. Have a lot of hunters in the area. Most of the village folk you see around. And other Wait, hey, and you, you said I, the bog towards the mine, but you said the I'm bog was in the east. Myself. The bog stretches far and wide to the north and to the south, but it primarily goes east. That city <laughs> from the <laughs> woods <laughs> just through the bog. Okay, I'm done with my questions. Okay. okay. Clear. Well, we're off to the general store, right? Uh, yeah. I, I, I think we're, yeah. we're ready to go to uh, the general store, yeah? Yeah, I'm done with that. Are we all in agreement? Yes. Sure. Yep.
Off to the yeah, general. Okay. Here we go. As you all uh, start making your way out, you do hear as uh, that's what you lose. And if you find it, bring back my leg. <laughs> we'll do. Please. We'll do. Well, we I... gotta find. We gotta find Rocket first. And see Thank as I leave. All your help. <laughs> See, I was gonna see, use the leg personally. I was thinking about, but see, okay. just as I leave, can I give him a dwarven farewell? Uh, sure. Yeah. And actually, as um, uh, as you do that, you actually uh see the sun in the doorway of returning it. All right, so you make you guys way to the general store. Yep. yep. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So as you guys uh get to the front of the general store, you notice. Some of the stalls that should be in the front displaying some of his wares are empty. Let's investigate, guys. <laughs> All right, let's split up and look for clues. Let's go in then. <laughs> yeah. I walk right up to the store or store owner and say, "Hello, good day." In draconian. Oh, um, right. As you guys open the door, you see uh, a very older man. Uh, bald, a little bit of a white hair on the sides, uh, kind of hunched back, quickly going back and forth between uh, cupboards or cabinets, putting things into bags and boxes and hitting them down and stops uh, as the door opens. And he's just staring at you all. The instant you speak in Draconian, he kind of cocks his head to the side. What sort of greeting is that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mister. Um, my name is McCall. Digital. Reginald Lombowski, Warding Bottom the Third. Oh, I'm fucking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mister, um, too complicated for me to repeat right now. Um, we are left on our way in. All your stuff is not on the shelves out front. I am uh, relocating. Relocating. Mm. Ah, Why? I, I, okay. Why are you is relocating? There, is there a relocating? Let's see, yeah. uh, my stores were broken into, uh, a lot of my fine herbs and powders and, uh, powdered gem dust has been stolen, um, something stabbed me, and he kind of throws, uh, open his robe, and you see there's a, he's got a stab wound in his gut in the side. Hmm. Ooh, nasty I'd, stab oh. wound. I'd get that looked at. Nasty stab wound, yeah. You, um, have you gotten that looked at that for one and anyway. for two, um, <laughs> Mister? Was there on TV? <laughs> was there any um, herbs or anything like that, uh, 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 like that, that was stolen, that could be used for black magic? Oh, certainly. Uh, many of various herbs can be used for any ritual, both for good or for ill, if you know the right herb you need for the right thing. What would be the most common one that was stolen that would be used in dark magic? Ah, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, no, not this one. Not this. Ah, here we go. Um, no, no, not this. Uh, ah, here. It's a, a poisonous plant you can collect actually in this region. Uh, most of it grows between the edge of the bog to about a couple miles out further east uh grows in clumps uh often found on the sides of uh old dead plants uh it's got a nice blue hue to it um attractive plant nonetheless maybe yeah it's very colorful but very poisonous uh even so much as lick the thing you'll be bedridden for weeks is there anything else stolen that uh, other than that plant and various other herbs and incense, uh, well, as you can see, he points to a, his, a cabinet to his side that has some empty glass jars about the size of your fist, and the, uh, jars are all labeled, and there's, uh, powdered root, powdered diamond, uh, powdered sapphire, and they're all empty. Hey, can I ask if he was stabbed by a silver blade? Whether it was silver, I know not. I'm not, a no werewolf or some other <laughs> misshapen thing. So uh, we know that now. It was white, so. it was white, though. It was white. Possibly. Why, but he, he like, like, goes with his hands. Whatever hit him, it was about almost like a half inch thick. 
Do I do anything that I went outside, or I just come in? Uh, and roll either nature or survival. Uh, we're gonna go nature. Uh, you do find that uh, you can find prints, but there is a nice bit of grass that's been disturbed. That leads from the shop owner's place into the tree line, just behind the village. How tall was the assailant that stabbed you? Uh, about ooh, about this tall. Maybe he's mostly about like three, three and a half feet. I come back in and present the information I have found to the rest of the group. You're and... all now aware that there's disturbed grass to the tree line. Disturbed grass in the tree line. The tree line is. What? North, east, west, south from here? That tree line is going north from the village, and it's about about a good 20, 25 feet before you hit the tree line. Alright. So like I suspected, they're probably heading north. North. Fine. Yeah. To the mines! Of Moria! I'm gonna ask... Mines of Moria! How long are you still gonna be in town, by chance? You're not leaving, like, today. No, heavens no. With this, with this injury, still recovering, and all my goods, I have to talk to someone about getting transport, and maybe an armed guard. I'll... Would I be able to look around the shop? Sure, that's not like I'm going to care about the condition of the shop since I'm packing up. You just don't <laughs> take nothing. Mental note to oneself. Take everything! <laughs> <laughs> if you must have something, I expect this. You seem like rub his fingers together like he expects money for if you take anything. Uh, I, I take a gold coin, put it on my thumb and index finger, and flick it to him. That's for cover any, catch it. That's for cover the investigation. Uh, please, help yourselves. He bows and gets out of the way. <laughs> uh, smo uh, smoky? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Smoke> call. <laughs> so call. I broke character. I don't take my arm. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It takes yeah, a while to get used to that. Yep. Oh, McCall right. was so nice to these people. I well, wasn't thinking about Robert and Blind at all. Very noble. Um, I'm gonna look around the shop. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll either perception or investigation. Uh, Phoenix. Uh, investigation five. Uh, mostly. You notice that his shop is not nearly as damaged as the other places or at least the Can first place like everything's kind of clean so it's kind of hard to make out what happened or if anything was left behind i can't think of anything else to ask him actually <laughs> uh, yeah, we're done. I, say, I say we start i say we go out to that field where uh catherine was kidnapped Wait, how far away is the field compared to the inn? Because it might be better to go to the inn first. Uh, the inn oh, is actually yeah. across the way, about uh, thirty-five feet. The field is actually further down, another uh, fifty feet. Let's box right. over to the inn then. I say we just jump across the street and go to the inn. All right, shall we move in that way? Yep. Yep. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. As you guys are on your way, uh, uh ready to like. And if uh, if you need any supplies, you're welcome to peruse what I have left in the boxes. Flaming arrows? No, most hunters keep take any arrows I get as fast as I get them. I have a good day, sir. As you guys make your way to the inn, um, there's a nice lantern now. It's pretty late at this point. It's almost about, it's getting close to about 9, 9.30. Damn. That's not bad time. <laughs> And we're at the this inn? point, like a lot of places are starting to turn their lights out, but the inn keeps it open. Um, you can see in the window, there's a, a bar counter, a few tables, uh, a couple paintings on the wall, nothing too fancy. Um, the old gentleman uh, that was mentioned with the graying hair and the fake left eye, you see him kind of turning around at the behind the counter, kind of buffing the table, cleaning up some glasses. You guys, what do you think? Let's just turn in for the night. Maybe, maybe try again in the morning. Or uh, do you guys want to? You guys want to hit this hard and get to the woods and camp out? I think I think it's probably best to investigate the inn, spend the night, then head to the fields. 
Ah, there we go. See, since we're in the end, can I look around and see if the guy who hired us is there? You both are gonna go uh, meet, the, meet with the informant? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose okay. we all walk over. Alright, so as you guys uh, walk in, uh, you do see the guy that hired you is actually in a uh, corner in the far back. Just kind of sitting there by himself. Kind of hey. uh, sitting in front of him. Still I would like to, to join the since he hasn't touched it. So as you guys, uh, you know, come up to the table, drinks are stirred. Uh, the man looks up. So, how's the investigation going? Aye. <coughs> it's going pretty good. But we have some questions about you, Lord McClure. Would you like to, uh... Oh, yeah, throw the limelight on me. <laughs> the, uh... I um, almost I... got all the notes. <laughs> I put on some glasses and open up a laptop. <laughs> about, uh, um, I, I take out the. Uh, from his, <laughs> it takes the drinks from his mug. <laughs> I open up. Um, I take out the uh, the book that he threw at my feet. Um, and I'm like, where, where, where did you where did you find the, this book? Because obviously, you obviously didn't find a body with it. So where did you find the book? And more importantly, why did you throw it at me? <laughs> Uh, it's seen enough uh, abuse as it is. A little more wasn't gonna hurt it. Hey, these Besides, pages. If I knew old, uh, if I knew old Calder, that binding he put on it was pretty tight. Rest in peace, okay. wherever he is. Cause... Oh, you don't know he's dead but, yet. Uh, Are you assuming that you have murdered him now? You're being very well, suspicious. The story that that's left behind. None of our hunters leave those behind. So if that got found uh, wherever it was. Well, actually, uh, sir, can I borrow, uh, Natalie for a moment? He gives a nod and she comes over. Uh, yes? Would you kindly, uh, tell these gentlemen and ladies where you, uh, found that book for me? Oh, um, I went to go collect some, uh, stuff near the bog and, uh, I noticed there was a nice clearing where I could rest and, uh... There was uh, some drag marks in the dirt, and the the book was right there. Uh, did you it see which like way the drag marks were going? For a minute, but, uh, they looked like they were going towards the north, but there's nothing but mines up that way. Interesting, interesting. Thank you for your your kind uh, words there. She 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 uh gives a small bow and begins walking back to whatever she's doing so sir um what is this uh, do, do you belong to some kind of uh organization or something is there a name for for your people well upon completion of the job i was willing to give you all official welcome but i guess now is as good as any ladies and gentlemen i bid you welcome to the uh, ferum lucida uh, we're connected. Uh, we gather people with in need of food or drink, or just say an incentive to do some good in the world by ridding this place of any malicious things, be it beast or man, that uh, may be making life a little more difficult than necessary around some parts. So your cell swords. Cell swords with better connections. I would say more of an organization than a cell sword. So, so we pick up are you new, cell swords. So are you underground, or, or or do people know about you? I mean, Therum Lucida is no mystery, but we're not exactly a broadcasted group. So Most no kind of advertisements, kind of... no no flyers going around town, nothing like that. No TV ads, internet spotlight. No, come on no, now. We're way back. Fancy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> I know, so I just gave us a bad joke. I don't that shit all the time. We have eyes and ears in many cities, many towns, and we have some scouts that go around looking for people who might be suitable for our line of work or have a predisposing disposition to want to be in line with our work. So spies. So basically, people are I know a little bit about use. spies. I know a little bit about spies. I have been involved with a group of spies. Now. He talks to you and looks directly at you, uh, McCall. In some form of 
what sounds to the others like a different language. You know exactly what this. This is a code spoken among people in certain circles and businesses. You recognize this from your time with the crown. Uh, you, you show. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. And in the same spoken, spoken exactly language, that. I say, "What is it you seek?" <clears throat> You watch him uh, uh, slide his uh, a, a sleeve up his arm, and you see that on the uh, forearm on the back side, uh, there's a branding on his arm. Um, okay. You don't recognize the brand, but you do know that most marks like this, if it's a brand or something etched into the uh, etched into the skin or some kind of ink, that means you belong to a particular group or you're associated with them. Right. But you definitely aren't familiar with that one. So everyone else, they're just going back and forth very quickly. What sounds like gibberish to you guys. They sound like babies. It's so cute, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he, tur he turns to look at the rest of the group. Oh, so, uh, sorry about that uh, old business habit. But, um... <laughs> yeah, we, uh... We're in the business of hunting down, uh... Beasties and the like. Do I take it that uh, any of you are? So, all this information in this book is pretty much all the information you have. Oh, not that I have. I I could find other knowledge. That's everything that Calder had. Things he's hunted. Things he's seen. Things he knows. I thought that maybe anything he knew might be useful to you. You know, I don't want to send you into the wolves' den without a, you know, at least a sword or a shield. I appreciate that. So I want to go in blindfolded. Ah. We lose a this lot of hunters that way. This, this raises a question. I am. I, oh, 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 sorry, McClure, go ahead. Why did you send in one person, but now you're sending in six? Most of the time, a lot of our hunters work just fine in singles or pairs, but uh, well, most he of the time they don't end up dead that fast. We're in and it. Calder, he's been around a while. He knew some of his stuff. If he died here, there's something more than just your average bugbear or a werewolf around here. Turns. None of us know each other. Why would you assemble a team that you don't that know how we'll work together? As I said, I am also a scouter. I've been watching some of you for a little bit. Took it a good moment to see what you guys are capable of, what you seem like you know, and figured this was a good group that's not going to be caught off guard too easy. Miss Morgana. <laughs> we just got a high number. <laughs> he mentioned that he's been watching you guys. That raises some questions. And you do recall when he addressed you, when he met you, he called you by your actual name. So he knows who you are, and looking at him and how he's... He's not telling you everything he knows. Something's up. So I walk up to him, and I whisper in his ear, Don't ever use that name again. Otherwise, I suspect you have something to do with my family. And I walk away. Sits upright. As you wish. But as I said, I've been watching you all for some time. And you mentioned. That's one of the reasons you were scouted. Most people okay. here believe we might be able to. So I got this question for you then. And I'm going to use intimidation on this one just a little bit. Why is it. That you've chosen all of us, then. Each individual. Something about the Avengers. And roll intimidate. Huh? Go ahead and roll and intimidate. Oh. <laughs> Even with a negative one, he gets an 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He puts his hands up. <laughs> all right. Hey, yeah, I think it's a good time, I guess, right? <laughs> He, he, he holds his hand up. All right. I see uh, putting out too much information has uh, raised more questions than I thought it would. 
As I said, we have eyes and ears everywhere. Shows up of some kind of interest. We have them looked into for at least a week. And we try to find out what we know about them. I believe I would like to take a look at the book that McClure has. No, my book, my precious. Yeah. Um, can I just hand Phoenix? Can I? Can I just hand Phoenix the book? Mm hmm. Absolutely. There you go, Phoenix. Okay. Um, Phoenix, as you do uh, peruse through the book, um, and go over some of the most recent entries. Uh, you do find some side notes that he uh, does reference a page earlier in the book. But there's also a side note saying, uh, doesn't make sense out of habit. There must be something else or someone else. And as you go to the page he references, he, it does reference, um, he is pretty sure there are goblins involved in this. But his understanding of goblins, this is outside of goblin behavior. Hey. Most goblins would have actually killed all the occupants, not left them alive. Can I just can I just raise the question to, like, to the physical GM? Would I already know this because I read the book? I will say yes. Okay. Oh, why the fuck didn't you tell us? It was it was one well, no, of I, I did tell us. I like that. Yeah, no, man, I, <laughs> well, no, because I did I did share when I got given the book. I did share it with everyone. See, just before we head to bed, um, I want I would like to ask the uh, broker. I shall now call him. <laughs> what's the deal with the nobleman? guy that's with them, the hooded one. I have a lot of concerns about him. We haven't been able to nail anything regarding him. Um, there was a moment someone caught a glimpse. His arms, they seemed kind of, if not tanned or burned. And there was a symbol. Um... Something he was carrying on him, he hid it the instant dangling out in the open. Uh, it was white, purple, and black. We have a suspicion what that was, but we couldn't confirm anything. Now, the Spe uh, can, can, can I speak in that fucking other language and kind of like nudge him a little? Sure. He gives you a sideways look. Okay, how do I want to word this? Um, so, you say you're so good. You got eyes and ears everywhere. But yet you can't pinpoint one person? Our guess is this guy is not local to any of these areas. He's from never seen. He's from out of town. <laughs> out of town. Yes. In, in, the the same town in, in the same language. In the same language. Out of town, yes. Out of but town within that. this world, within this world, I didn't have internet back then, so Oh, come on, yeah, look up anything they want. They, they have eyes and ears everywhere, and that's yeah. why that's why I'm fucking kind of like ribbing him a little. <laughs> he, he turns to face you in the same tongue. He's like, You're aware that there are other things out there that are not here, it's a place. <coughs> somewhere else and you can't just walk to a door and get there right I and I kind of fucking okay. put my head put my head down and kind of disgust we we hate to say it but we think he's from somewhere out there and then Which I slam his hand out. down on the table out there where intimidate is it still in the same language, or did you break language that time? I broke language. Uh, I broke out language. where? He reverts back to normal tongue. Yeah, I revert, revert back to normal if tongue. If we knew, we would have gone there. Like There's another plane of existence? Someone who actually knows a thing about the other worlds. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. other uh -oh. planes of existence. Like, there's the... You all know that there are other planes, like the Fair Wild, the Dark Realms, the... Yeah, Heaven and Hell. You must, you must have some kind of outer connection to know about all that. Well, I read a lot growing up. Ah, you're of an informed... Now, to, to be 
completely straight with you all. Most common folk and even some entitled folk are not even aware that there's more than just this. The groups and people I work with, we work to prevent things like this from happening. However, even in our studies and our searches, there's never been enough information to figure out how to go there. Somehow things keep coming here. There are ways to get there, unfortunately. I do not have the skills. Exactly. Very, very few people know what they do, or if they do know, they don't broadcast it. So far, at least no one within our group of networks knows anything. My, um, my only question I can sit and think of, you said the, uh, the symbol this man wore was white, black, and purple, but what shape did it take? Being a skull, missing its jaw, with the purple and black sunburst behind it. Blur, roll me if, yeah, if, if you have religion, roll that. Un, but before rolling it, that that spot where it says normal, put that to advantage. And then roll. Eleven. Mm, I was hoping for higher. Mm. So, ooh. you think back to your days with your church, and you've heard of other churches, other religions, um, other gods that other people worship. Mm -hmm. You don't recall the name, but you know for a fact that that is a symbol representing a deity. What deity, though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like where this has gone already. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and I would, I mean, I only know of my deity. I mean, I know of a few others, but... but I only know of the one true God. And that's the one that I worship. <laughs> <laughs> I only know of two. We know, yeah. we know of other, I know of other religions, you know, religions that worship, uh, you, you got you, your dark religions that believe in the devil, and you've got other religions that believe in another form of God, but... To my church, that's heretics in the end. To my, I mean, I'm not gonna go out and murder them in the name of freaking my lord. I'm, I'm not the people. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all. Would you, would you like to open your heart to our lord and savior? Sorry, I think it is the bell. You gotta do the Pastor McClure voice. Where did I put it? Would you like um, to join our religion? <laughs> And so, oh, yes. I devote my services to the Platinum so Dragon. Lure has got it. You gotta kind of decide where you're gonna go on this one, yeah? Kind of know where uh, actually it might be going. And I don't like it. What's his uh, name? Platinum Dragon? Bahamut. Bahamut, yes. Bahamut, what? A dragon? What did I miss? Oh, bits and shit. <laughs> oh, I, was asking, I asked about the symbol. Uh, that's my god, the Platinum Dragon Bahamut. Mm -hmm. Where I get you my power from. All right. All right. I get it, I get it. Uh, well, Morgana, can you turn that aloud to everyone? Yes. The broker turns to you in Celestial and says, and may his wrath be mighty and his mercy as gracious. Yes. Man, this dragon sounds cool. Uh, oh, McCall yeah. sits at the table. What did you just say to her? I was praising her god. You're lucky. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a little irritated with this situation. There are other planes that when this is not the only plane of existence. There are others that the that people come from. Like your people originated from the Feywilds. Sure, we're getting Stories expedition. That place are vast jungles and shrubbery that is uh, beyond the imagining. It's a very dangerous place to go to. We don't want to go there unless we absolutely have to. Uh, it makes any of you feel any better, particularly you, my friend, which, and he says in Thieves Camp, I did not mean to insult if that's what I had done goes back to common we are already having people 
find out what they can for you about all of your particular endeavors and problems. Uh, well, I <laughs> think we should get some rest and prepare for it. Do, I do agree on the rest and maybe going north. I think the <laughs> north is the best bet. Oh, well, yeah. let's get some rest and know. prepare for the, the journey. To and as uh, I'll uh, bring it in for the evening of the inn, we'll go ahead and call it there for this uh, week's session. You're going out your bed again, Minma. Yeah. Ah, oh, my shoulder's sore. There you go. Yeah, rub that beard. Mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Touch that, that beard. Oh, yeah. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Yes. I'm a paladin. <laughs> that's, that's Paladin McClure. <laughs>